This lecture is on a very important topic in ultrasonic testing which is phased array of valves. This is a new area and it's picking up a lot of speed and a lot of work is going on in this area at this time. Uh, to perform this inspection it's very important to understand the concept of this inspection. So I will go step by step and give you several examples to understand the concept. Here on the left side is the test piece and the right side is actually the image on the phased ray machine. Here we have a phased ray probe and uh, we have placed it on a block with three sidereal holes A, B, C and the phase ray machine is sweeping the beam from let's say 30 degrees to maybe 75 degree angle which would be here. The image of this uh, inspection would be shown on the right side and we would see the same lines here which is this line and this line on the screen and the holes would actually show up as A, B and C. Now there will be two measurements on the phase gray screen which will be PA and DA. PA will be the distance from the front of the phase gray wedge to the indication and DA is the depth from the top surface to the depth of this indication or this one or this one. So again remember PA from the front of the wedge to the indication and DA is the depth from the top surface to the indication. Now let's go to example number two. This is on an actual weld and on this weld we are looking at the root of the weld. Again we are sweeping the beam for example from 30 degrees to 70 degrees or 75 degrees and the only reflector we have is the root of the weld. On the phase ray image, we will see the root of the weld as follows. It's going to show up below this line because the root actually is below the bottom surface of this plate. So the root indication would be here and this PA here which is the distance from the front of the wedge to the root would actually correspond to this PA from here which is the front of the wedge on the phased ray image to this indication which is right here so it would be right here. So now let's go and run a quick test on these two examples and to basically describe you the test process. This is example number one. We have a two inch block right here with three side drill holes and the phase ray probe is placed here this probe actually has uh, 16 crystals with element size of 1.5 millimeters giving us a total aperture of 24 millimeters. Holes are at half inch, one inch and one and a half inches. The PA distance again is the distance from the front of the wedge to the hole which is from here to about here which would be almost 0.35 or something like that. Here is a phased array image on the machine. The top of the block is here. The bottom of the block would be this line at 2 inches. This is the depth axis 0, half, 1, 1.5 and 2. And you can see the three holes. This is half, 1, 1.5 and that's the bottom. Uh, you could even see the corner of the block right here and uh, the depth of the hole is shown here as 0.96 because that's the top of the hole where we get the reflection. So now we will go to example number two. This is the second example. Here we have a plate which is 0 0.75 inches thick. It has a single V weld in it and uh, right now we have placed the probe and looking at the root of the V weld as I showed you in example number two. So the distance PA would be from the front of the wedge which would be measured to the root from the front of the wedge to somewhere around here. 
So let's now look at the image of this root signal. So here is the image of the signal from the root. This is the front of the wedge, this purple line. And the distance of the root from the front of the wedge is actually given here as PA is 0.45 inches. So we can go back to the drawing and place the probe and measure that distance. And the depth is basically on the opposite side of the plate because this line represents the bottom of the plate. So this is the signal from the root. Now I will move the probe to show you a signal from an actual flaw. So when I move it, you will see the signals changing and here we go. This is actually a signal which is in front of the root, before the root, because the root signal was here. Now we have a signal before the root and that signal is still connected to the bottom of the plate. This signal is basically a crack which is initiated from the or connected to the bottom of the plate. The depth of the crack can be measured from here to here. So this is example number three, basically a crack on the bottom of the plate. Here is the next example on a one inch thick plate right here. This plate has a double V weld with a cap on the top and the cap on the bottom of the plate. We would be looking at two signals from this plate. One would be from the bottom cap which is right here and the second one would be at the mid thickness of the double V weld which would be somewhere around at this point. Okay, let me explain the phased array image from the one inch plate. Again, the top of the plate is this surface the bottom of the plate is here. This is the thickness of the plate, 0 0.5 and 1 inch. This is the front of the probe, the wedge. And you can see a signal here at the very bottom. And that is the bottom cap of the double V weld right here. The depth of that indication is shown as 0.967. Now I will move the probe and you will see a reflection develop at the mid wall of the plate. I'm moving the probe across the weld and you will see now we have indications right at this point which is the mid, mid thickness and I'll move the cursor up and you can see the depth of these indications is about half half inch 0.539 which is almost uh, the mid thickness of the one inch plate so far we have been discussing phase gray inspection in the first leg first leg would means that right from the probe to the bottom of the plate well there are some flaws which we cannot see in the first leg one example is lack of fusion at the side wall of the weld. Here is one of the examples. We have lack of fusion here shown as A. It will not be seen in the first leg because there will be no reflection. So in this case the sound will go here to the bottom get reflected here and then go back to the probe. Here we have to understand that the phased array image will show this flaw right here because this will kind of get turned around and show up at this location. So on the phased ray image, we basically see the image of the top, the root, and then the whole thing basically kind of flips down like this, and it would be basically like that. So here we would have the top, the bottom, and the top of the plate again. This will be the final example of this presentation. Uh, it's on a half inch plate, single V weld. And uh, as you can see, the cap of the weld is here and the root is here. Here we would be looking for a defect, which is lack of fusion on the bevel right here of the weld. Here is a screen display for the half inch plate. 
the top of the screen is the top of the plate this is 0 0.5 then from there in this case we are basically going to flip the weld and it's going to go back to 0 so it's 0 0.5 and back to 0 and the root signal is shown right here this is the root signal I will move the probe and then you will see the lack of fusion right here again this is the root and the the cap of the weld which is here is also going to show up here as a reflection and here we see the lack of fusion which is right here you saw the root here this is the lack of fusion the the cap of the weld would be here as well as here as you can see the sound is basically going here getting reflected and coming here but on the phased array image it would be displayed right here as lack of fusion